as a handful of rich countries hoard the world's COVID-19 vaccine supplies and start to immunize lower risk groups and authorize shots for use in children, the head of the World Health Organization implored him to reconsider and instead donate the much needed supplies to the organization's vaccine sharing initiative, COVAX. Tedros described the inequality in vaccine distribution as a moral catastrophe. Tedros, alongside many other public health officials, has repeatedly emphasized the need for global cooperation in ending the pandemic and noted that it is not over for anyone until it is over for all. Allowing market forces to guide vaccine distribution is not an acceptable strategy, he said Friday. Trickle-down vaccination is not an effective strategy for fighting a deadly respiratory virus, he said. The US is, though not named, a clear target of Tedros' speech. The Food and Drug Administration expanded its emergency use authorization of Pfizer-BioNTech's vaccine to include adolescents aged between 12 and 15 years old last week and the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices voted to recommend that it be administered to this group on Wednesday, paving the way for widespread inoculation. Experts hope this will significantly cut down outbreaks in the US and safeguard children from getting sick. More than 3.8 million children have been infected since the pandemic began, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, which recommends all eligible children to get the shot. 0.59 million. That's how many doses COVAX has supplied to 121 countries needing help acquiring vaccines. The US, which has been heavily criticized for its vast vaccine stores, recently announced plans to share its entire stock of AstraZeneca's vaccine, an order of 300 million doses. 60 million of these should be ready in the coming months, WHO warns of dangerous moment amid spike in COVID-19 cases, Forbes, Moderna pledges 500 million vaccine doses to stumbling WHO program, Forbes, COVID surges in four of five most vaccinated countries, here's why the US should worry, Forbes, full coverage and live updates on the coronavirus.